What is up everybody, welcome back to another scripting tutorial. So what I have for you guys today is essentially another um, uh, part two to my new scripting series. So we're going to be getting into the capture point and, or no, not capture point, uh, spawn selection GUI and uh, weapon selection GUI today. This is uh, This will conclude our series, so let's get right into it. So we left off at background three. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of these because we were experimenting with that. Okay, now we left off at background three with continue and previous. Let's get rid of this local script. Okay, we're gonna add a local script inside of background three continue, and we're gonna do scripts dot parents dot mouse button one click connect function. And that end with the parentheses there and now so basically what continue does is it uh, scripts you do script dot parent dot visible oh wait no script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false and then you do scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot uh, background okay first of all before we continue that we need to add a background uh, four so we're just gonna get rid of background one we're just gonna click visible off we're gonna go in here, we're just gonna duplicate a background, okay? Make it visible, and we're gonna name this background, uh, background four, okay? Background four. And we're gonna get rid of the continue and previous button in it because we're not gonna need those. In inside of background four, just leave it blank for now um, and just make it non-visible, okay. Anyways, continue. We're back in the continue local script, and now we're just going to script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot background four dot visible equals true, and that's all you need to do for that. It's a really simple script. Um, yeah, let's continue. Um, you won't actually need a previous button in background three either, so you just get rid of that. All right. Now you go inside of background three and we're gonna add, and before we do anything else, make background three visible again so we can see it. And we're gonna add a text button. Actually, you know what? We could just duplicate the continue button. So duplicate the continue button, bring it up here. And instead of continue, we're gonna call it a uh, laser gun, okay? And name it laser gun in the text as well. Name both the button and the la and the uh, text laser gun. Now we're gonna go in here, and this is where we get into the weapon selection. Okay, so okay, so this is where we get into weapon selection. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna do scripts dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function open close and then down two lines in open close or just uh, close all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do go back in the middle line we're do we're gonna do a local we're gonna call it local laser equals game dot lighting and make sure to put your tools whatever you're like putting for your weapons in lighting like we have laser gun here and so we're gonna put that in uh, uh, lighting and we're just doing game dot lighting dot laser gun and there it is um, colon clone open close just like that and then we're gonna go down another line do laser dot parent dot or equals scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent essentially five parents dot backpack we're gonna go down another line and we're gonna do scripts dot parent dot visible equals false all right, so I'm gonna actually be doing multiple weapons to show you how I how you guys need to do it. So um, uh, before you do anything, there we're just gonna make uh, script dot parent dot uh, parent dot continue equals visible uh, dot visible equals true and uh, one thing we need to do is click that continue button make it non-visible okay and uh, you'll see why in a minute but uh let's go ahead and continue so now we're gonna add another weapon 
we're just gonna do two weapons just to show you how to do it and we're gonna name this one sword sword boom we're gonna go inside this script instead of local laser we're gonna call it sword sword over here and also sword over here just uh, name all three of those to sword okay and uh, after that all you really need to do is yeah just close that all right now we're gonna go over to laser gun script and we're gonna go another line down we're gonna do scripts dot parent dot parent dot sword dot visible equals false and then we're also gonna do another line and call it script dot parent dot parent dot um actually yeah yeah uh, dot sword dot selectable equals false and that's that is the laser gun local scripts complete now we're gonna go over to our sword local script and we're gonna do scripts dot parents dot parents dot um, dot sword dot visible equals false or no instead of sword we do laser gun sorry um, and then we're also gonna just uh, go down our line do scripts dot parent dot parent dot laser gun dot selectable equals false boom and that is the sword local script completed so you guys give you a second to pause the video and take a look at that but yeah okay now that we've got both of those need to make sure something okay now then we're gonna go over to um, okay now that we're done with that literally we're done um, we're gonna go ahead and close background 3 we're done with background 3 and let me just show you what that does so far so we're gonna go play uh, wait we might actually need to fix something can't remember okay yeah okay play and when we spawn in we do continue previous works continue continue brings us to the weapon selection we select a weapon it opens the continue button as you guys can see we click continue and that takes us to background four now background four is okay let's go ahead and hide background one again so background four is going to be the spawn selection We're actually just going to copy one of these buttons uh, make sure vi background four is visible right now paste into so and we're just going to rename this button to oh what should we call it we're going to call it a we're going to call it spawn point a so there it is a and now inside of this one we're going to go ahead and get rid of everything inside there already and let me think we're going to we're first we're going to do some local so we're going to do local uh, camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera and then we're gonna do local player equals game dot players dot local player and that's done with our locals now we go down to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function boom done now we go in the middle of this and now we're gonna do scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals false or uh, yeah yeah equals false that's basically turning off our GUI once we've selected the weapon or selected our spawn point okay so now we're gonna do camera dot camera type equals parentheses custom not parentheses uh, quotations sorry um, camera dot camera type and then we go below that we do if player dot character and player dot character find first child um, parentheses quotations upper torso close then 
um, player dot character dot upper torso dot c frame equals c frame dot new and then open close parentheses and end now in these uh in these parentheses right here you need the position of where your spawn point is so we're we're spawning on point a right now so the easiest way to find the point or the position you want them to spawn in is just place a part where you want them to spawn in and then you are going to go in the parts properties and copy the position or once you've got that copied you're going to go back in the local script and you're just going to paste it in the in the parentheses there and that is li literally it that's literally it um if you want to add multiple spawn points I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. You literally just duplicate, bring it down, and we're going to name this one B. B. And we're going to have to find the position of B. So we're going to go over here and we're going to place a part. Go take the position, copy. Oh, did not mean to do that. Okay, copy the position. Go back in the B local script and just change it. Boom. And let me show you what this does. So let's go ahead and uh, hide background four. And we're going to open up background one. And we're going to play. And continue. Previous works. Continue. Continue. Takes us to our weapon selection. We now select laser gun. We're, our, actually, I'm going to select sword. Gives me the sword. Now I click continue. Now it brings us to the spawn selection, and now we click, you know, I'm going to click B just to show you, it spawns me at point B with my weapon. It's really simple, um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you guys want to see another one, comment down below what you want to see, and again, this will, uh, this menu will be uh, available to everybody at the end of, uh, it should be up soon after this video, but yeah, it should be available to everybody, I'll leave it in the description, check it out. I'll see y'all later, peace.